guys. It's Kelsey. And Kendra. So today we're going to be doing our April favorites for you guys. We didn't do a March favorites last month. And we did quite a bit of shopping for the month of April. So we discover a lot of new products that we love. And just a lot of fun stuff to talk about today with you guys. So this video is probably going to be a long one. So get a snack, drink, do whatever you need to do. Mm. Because, yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Okay, so we're just going to start out with makeup because... Well, we got kind of half and half of makeup and miscellaneous, but we're just going to go ahead and start with makeup. First, I'm going to mention some lippies uh -huh. to you guys. Um, so first, I'm just going to go ahead and mention the three lipsticks, well, liquid lipsticks I've been using the most this month. And I bought these at the beginning of April at IMAX New York. If you saw that haul, you already know. I bought these and I have been obsessed ever since. These have excellent formula and I just love the consistency and this lasting power. They last so long on your lips. And the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Did I even mention? These are the Dose, Dose of Colors Terra Collection. Sorry. <laughs> and they are in the colors Brick, Sand, and Stone. stone. And my favorite is Stone. Yeah, it's the light pink um, that kind of looks like Cashmere by Lime Crime. But I really like it. And it I, looks like Pure Hollywood, too, from the Anastasia. Yeah, and it looks like that, too, kind of. It's just like a really cool tone, like gray pink color, which I absolutely love. And I always pair it with the lip liner. And I have on Brick right now. Um, brick is just kind of a brick color. It has the perfect name. It looks like kind of like a red brick color. And I put a little bit of sand in like the center. And that's how I kind of like to wear this because this is a little bit dark on its own. And this is obviously way too light for me on its own. This is, no, I'm not wearing this by itself. So I like to mix these two. And then with um, Stone, I like to pair this with um, a lip liner that I'm about to mention to you guys. And the lip liner I've been loving uh, for this month and last month, actually, is yeah. this NYX lip liner in the color Mahogany. I've been obsessed with this lip liner. I used this in my gold copper makeup tutorial with um, Stone. And a lot of you guys were obsessing over that lip combo. Just like me, I'm obsessed with it. I love this lip liner. It's just perfect to like tone down a nude lip. And you can also wear it by itself. Kendra actually wear it by itself one day in New York. In New York. A lot of people yeah. asking about my makeup in the, the clip before we went out to dinner. Like mm -hmm. our first night there. And I had that on my lips. Yep, this is what she had just on. Just nothing else, just that. Mm -hmm. And it was really pretty. Because mm -hmm. she was like, I don't have a matte lip with me. I was yeah. like, you can use this. I needed something matte. Yeah, and it was like perfect. I it hadn't even used it. It a long time. I ate with it and everything. Yeah, I hadn't even used it. You did? as a lip liner like by itself. I yeah. always use this with something. Mm -hmm. So Kendra actually inspired me to use it by itself. So this is just a multi-use. You can use it by itself with a lighter lipstick. Mm -hmm. I just love this lip liner. So NYX Mahogany, love. Okay, so I only have two lip favorites to talk about with you guys and they're both from MAC. The first is this lip liner and this is their lip pencil in the color Mahogany. And this is not like a pro color or anything. You can get it at any MAC store or I'm assume, assuming any MAC counter. Um, this is in the color Mahogany and it's just the prettiest like red brick Auburn. Auburn yeah. undertone with a tad bit of brown in it. It's like like the best lip liner for like darker skin tones. I was on the hunt for like a really pretty mahogany color and I found this at MAC and I haven't wanted to try it for a while. And I haven't worn it just by itself yet like I did the next one, like Kelsey's. But I'm assuming it's just as pretty. I'm wearing it today lined with another lipstick that I'm going to show you guys. The lip liners from MAC are super, super creamy mm -hmm. and really pigmented. But they don't like get all over the place. They still last. Yeah. So I love the lip pencils from MAC. They have like a ton of colors. And I feel like they have so many ranges of colors for different skin tones. I feel like a lot of people forget that they can explore MAC. Because it's a lot of a lot of popular colors at MAC that everybody wants to try like soar world and all those pretty colors that are nice not those colors are going to look amazing on everybody yeah. so they're still pretty colors but i feel like when i go into mac i want to look for those colors but i want to kind of discover other things that i probably never would have you know wanted to pick out if i didn't hear about it because a lot of people pick up stuff because of the hype yeah. You know, it's real easy to get real in here on YouTube. <laughs> but when you kind of like discover stuff for yourself, you're just like, oh, it's like a hidden gem. And I'm like, what was I doing before I found this? Mm -hmm. So this was one of those kind of lip liners for me. So I love Mahogany by MAC. Because both of these are called Mahogany. mahogany but they don't look They look nothing alike. They look though. really different. This one is more red. That one is more like a mauve rose. It's like a pinky rose yes. color. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yes. This has more of like a brown red undertone to it. And this this should a, be called brick, honestly. Yeah, it does kind of look like brick. It looks like brick. And this is like a brown pink. Mm -hmm. And then the lipstick that I have to talk about is also from MAC and you guys. I think this is going to be like one of my holy grail go-to lipsticks. 
This is Del Rio by MAC. And a while back, I saw this color on our friend Ashley here on YouTube, Makeup by Amory. And it looked really pretty on her, but obviously she's a lot lighter than us. And I just assumed it wouldn't look as good on me. But when I like swatched it and like I saw it in person, because you know, MAC, the lip colors can be deceiving online. Yeah. And you got to go see in person for yourself. And when I saw it in person, it was just like the heaven, the gates of heaven open, y'all. <laughs> like this color is so gorgeous. It looks pretty on any skin tone. And it's just like that perfect mauvey brown tad bit of rose in it mm -hmm. and it's like you're looking at it like it's kind of dark like most people look at it like oh that's a fall color no this is perfect for spring and it's gonna be my go-to color for like spring and summer and this is a satin finish and it's super pigmented and it's like really like a really creamy brownie oh, creamy. like a brownie rose color there's no sheen in it like I said it's a satin so it's not matte so it's not drying so I'm just obsessed with this color how many times can I say so it's amazing. Pick it up because I said it's amazing. <laughs> okay, so my next favorite is a powder and I bought this from Sephora in New York and I love this powder. This is the Smashbox Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. Whew. And number novel. nine, <laughs> it is a novel. novel. And it's in the color number nine and I love this powder. Like I told y'all, the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't leave me matte as long as my Makeup Forever Duo Matte, but that is a dual matte powder. This is a like creamy but it's not i told you i don't think it's creamy i think it's more like satiny um soft powder and it just leaves your face like a filter like you look you look like you you're a walking filter so i definitely re recommend this to anyone who has like large pores or anything like that and you want to cover those up just to smooth the surface over your skin so it's kind of like a primer and a powder it's kind of weird mm -hmm. like one of those pore feeling it's a pore feeling powder. powder. Yeah, they yeah. should have called it that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of like a pore feeling powder. Mm -hmm. So I just really love this. The color is great. It has excellent coverage. So I really love that. So I've just been obsessing over this powder. So I love it. I'm glad I found like a second go-to powder because I was getting getting tired of using that one powder. Because sometimes you just, you know, want to switch it up. So I really like this powder because I'm really picky about my powders considering, you know, we're brown girls and it's mm -hmm. kind of like hard to find that yes. great powder. So I love this. My next makeup product is also a face product, but I have a foundation to show you guys. This is the Laura Mercier, Mercier, <laughs> either one. Uh, the Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. Yeah, it don't say foundation, it just ends with fluid. Um, this is a foundation that I heard a lot of good things about, like I said, from Be The Beauty here on YouTube because she has oily skin and it just looks so good on her and I was like I need to try a foundation because I just assumed like it was like really like like when you shake it it's really liquidy and watery and you're assuming it's going to be like one of those dewy foundations and not for a, for us oily girls so that was just me you know not doing my research but when I actually read on the Sephora website about this foundation it's supposed to be a matte finish and it's not super full full coverage when you first put it on it's buildable and y'all it just feels like skin like it looks like skin on your face and obviously i top it off with the powder because i always set my foundations but it dries matte and it feels it doesn't feel like you have on a lot of makeup like i said it feels so good on the skin and it's really liquidy so this is going to be like my go-to for summer because everybody doesn't like that well i don't think anybody likes that cakey feeling but no. not the super thick foundations aren't for everybody. Like I love my MAC Pro Longwear, my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love those, but not everybody's going to like those kind of foundations. So this can be a really good alternative if you're looking for something like that because it's buildable and you can get it to full coverage if you want. But if you want like a lighter coverage, you can do that too with this. This is like an all around good foundation. It's really versatile. Yeah. So I think a lot of people would love this. Even if you have dry skin, just moisturize really good and this will still really look really good on you and it will have you looking flawless like the bottle says so i'm wearing it today if you're wondering what foundation i'm wearing so yes love this okay so i have two makeup items to mention to you guys i think this is the last makeup items yeah for me yes um these are new brushes i ordered off of sedona lace and these are the 928 buffer brushes i think that's the name of them but they're just flat top kabuki flat top kabukis and these are one of those ain't mine both of those hooves by the way well yeah i kind of ordered them on a whim like i'm gonna get two so you know i have faith in this brush if i order two without even trying it yet and let me tell y'all i'm obsessed with this brush already it just gives you the most flawless like airbrush finish and the brush is incredibly soft it kind of reminds me no feel the clean one oh my bad <laughs> This is dirty. Ooh. It, isn't it soft? Yes. It kind of reminds me of the Sigma F80, but I had that one for about two years and it was falling apart. 
like the hairs were coming out and I had to throw it away. So, you know, we put her to rest. <laughs> but, um, I actually like these better because they're softer and I feel like the finish is more like an airbrush finish, like I told y'all. It just makes it look flawless. Like, oh, uh, like I'm obsessed. You need to get you one of these. I'm trying to oh. tell you. I just ordered you another one because they're very inexpensive. I think this was like $15? Somewhere around it. It was not more than twenty dollars, hmm. and it's cheaper than the Sigma F80, which is great because I like it better. So if you're looking for a new really good foundation brush, then I recommend this one because it's absolutely amazing. And I'm telling y'all, when me and Karen say something is amazing, it is. I'm, yes. I'm not gonna BS y'all. Like these brushes are the absolute truth. So mm -hmm. go get you one or two, like me. Okay, so the last two makeup items I have to talk about go together. They come in a pair. The first one is this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. And you guys saw this in our Sephora haul. And I think I was wearing it in that Sephora haul. Yeah, because I used it in my Get Ready With Me. And y'all, this gold shade is like a light gold. It's the perfect highlight. If you're one of those people, like I said, I think I mentioned this. If you're one of those people who don't like that bam in your face kind of highlight that looks like you know glitter. too much like glittery because yeah. i like that kind of highlight if i got like a full face of makeup now, some people don't like that look this is like the perfect balance between like a nice highlight that you can see from far away but it still looks like a nice sheen of like color like a nice sheen of a highlight it doesn't look like it's too much yeah so it looks really dewy i'm, I'm wearing, wearing it today too. uh we're both wearing it today and a lot of people get scared of highlights if you're not into highlighters because some people like i said are into that look this is like like i said the perfect balance of a highlight this could be like an everyday highlight for someone who doesn't really wear them that often this can be like your go-to shade and this is complementary to a lot of skin tones i don't know if like two two pale of skin tones would like this you might like the number one shade better but this is like the perfect light gold it's not super super gold it's like champagne and gold had a baby it's like the perfect mm -hmm. color champagne gold yes it's champagne gold so it's like the perfect mixture mm -hmm. so i'm obsessed with this the formula is amazing like i don't know if y'all can see that Ooh, so Pretty. pretty and that gorgeous. was like just one like swatch it's mm -hmm. amazing so if y'all have not gotten your hands on this you need to get it and i don't think it's limited edition so you can get it you know whenever i got me one today yes i exchanged it for that nars duo yes because she said it wasn't pigmented enough mm -mm. took it back get this it's amazing guaranteed pigmentation i'm not lying <laughs> promise it's amazing and with that i've been using this elf small stipple brush i use this in my get ready with me and a lot of people were asking what brush was that that i was using um, to apply my highlighter and this was it and kelsa introduced me to this brush i fell in love with it ever since it's like the perfect like size it's like really small so it fits perfectly like on top of your cheekbones and if you're someone who likes to apply blush with a stipple brush this could be good for that too but i like to use this for my highlighter because it picks up the perfect amount of product it doesn't pick up too much i just love like using this because it's really soft i think this was only like three dollars it's amazing so if you haven't tried this brush get your hands on it because it's really good and i love using it with this so yes get both of these mm -hmm. okay so now we're moving on to miscellaneous items the first uh, miscellaneous this is a skincare item and this is the glam glow youth mud tingle exfoliant treatment and i told y'all i used kendra's when she first bought this and i'm obsessed with this mask y'all i think i'm gonna just buy the bill i don't want to buy it right now though but i'm gonna just go ahead and buy it eventually because you know i can't keep buying these little bitty ones because they literally last me maybe like four uses five uses like five uses mm -hmm. and i just really love this one because it has like little bees in it and like pieces of like it looks like seaweed or something yeah and at first when kendra used it she was like i saw so something wrong with mine yeah I was I like, thought, like I thought it had went bad or something. Like they had put it out the old ones or something. And I was like, why is it paper on my face? Like it looked, it looks so like weird. But yeah. I'm like, yeah. As, like when I use Kelsey's when she bought hers, it's I'm the like, same wait, thing. that's supposed to be in there. Yeah. So yeah, it's don't just, be alarmed by like the seaweedy paper stuff. Yeah, it just helps with the exfoliating when you're rinsing the mask off. Mm -hmm. And my skin feels so soft after I rinse this off, and it looks like brighter and more glowy, and like mm -hmm. any pimples that I. I've had it dries them out like super quick so that's why I like this too so it's like an all-in-one for me it's brightening it gives you smooth skin because it's exfoliating yeah mm -hmm. and also it helps dry out like pimples or something and like it that smells amazing, amazing. y'all like mm. 
they just you just want to smell it. Please. It smells amazing. It just really go does. into Sephora, like open this like the sample that they have sitting out and smell it because it smells, it smells so, so good. good. Yeah. Yes, and the longer you leave these kind of masks on, the better they work. Yeah. Like Kelsey and I discovered that these kind of masks um, that you're supposed to like leave on until they dry, leave it on a little bit longer because the longer you leave it on, like you're gonna see the biggest difference. Yeah. So you have to give it time to yeah. work. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So I just been really liking this because I've been liking like, you know, like manual exfoliants lately because I haven't been using my Olay brush. Um, because it's been breaking me out. It's kind of like the Clarisonic problem that some people have. If you use it too much, it can start to break you out. So I've been kind of holding off on that because it did an excellent job at clearing out my breakouts when I first had them. I just had to stop using it and I've been really loving this as like my weekly exfoliant. So um, yeah, check this out if you're looking for a good exfoliant too and a good mask in one. So you get your money's worth because it does more than one thing. Okay, so the skincare product I have to talk about today is a moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena hydro boost water gel and y'all i've had this for about honestly like two or three months and i keep forgetting to mention it to y'all and i use it every day so i don't know why i keep forgetting it but this moisturizer if you have oily skin this is going to be so perfect for you because it's super hard to find a moisturizer that you love when you have oily skin because you want something to moisturize your skin because oily skin can get dehydrated too but it's almost like you have a dry patch and you still oil it so it's like you both which is so <laughs> annoying like yeah. pick one mm -hmm. this is going to help with dehydration and it's going to keep your oils at bay if that makes sense like i said this says water gel so it's a gel formula and it smells so good y'all it's like a really clean smell i love using like gel formula like moisturizers in the summertime because i don't like to feel greasy or like anything too heavy in the summertime so if you haven't tried this please try it they have two different formulas i think they have like the cream and then the gel so i think they have two for different skin types so if you're oily like me you're gonna love this it smells really good and it has hyaluronic acid in it and i think that's supposed to help with like texture and smoothing and stuff so it's really good for that as well so i've been loving it and i just love the like nice blue packaging it just looks like summer like i don't know beachy yeah it looks beachy yeah it's kind of pricey for a drugstore but it lasts a really long time like a little bit goes a long way so yes love this okay so my next favorite is a hand soap and this is from bath and body works and this is the lush bamboo waterfall deep cleansing hand soap this soap smells absolutely amazing me and Kendra went to Bath and Body Works like two weeks ago, I think. A week ago. And we also got these soaps like, I think it was five for 17 or something. Y'all know for, the deal that you get with the I soaps. I think it was five for 17 and I got like two of this one in particular. And of course it's green, my favorite color. But I was shocked that I liked this smell the most. Cause I was like, Lush Bamboo Waterfall. What What is the waterfall smell like? <laughs> but it smells so good. It just smells like really fresh with like a little bit of fruity. I, mm -hmm. I think that's the best way to describe it. it kind of smells like lime and apple or something. Yeah, I smell the lime. Yeah, and the apple. Mm -hmm. Kind of smell a little bit of watermelon too. Watermelon. Mm -hmm. If y'all smell the pop rock candy, oh, it that, is. Like that you used to eat back in the day. <laughs> if y'all was born in our day, <laughs> that pop rock candy that crackles like in your mouth, it, it smells, smells like, like that. This. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells so good. So if you've been looking for like a new, really good smelling hand soap, I recommend to smell this one and try it out and see how you like it because I've been obsessed with it. I wish I would have got more of this smell in particular, but I love this soap. Okay, speaking of Bath & Body Works, we haven't mentioned one in a while, so we wanted to show y'all some good candles to go get. So Kelsey and I recently, like she said, went to Bath & Body Works, and when we got those soaps, we also wrecked up on a few candles. This one is the Lemon Mint Leaf scented candle and it's from the white barn collection. collection yeah this is probably one of the best scents that they have in this collection because i'm not like crazy about all of them like yeah i'm real picky with the candles because so, so many of bath and body Works scents smell alike they we feel like the same we feel like they just repackage them and we and, always say that they just change the color or and the name they call it something new and have you thinking yeah there's something different when it's not mm -hmm. but this is like the most one of their most unique scents and if you're into it clean is. smells mm -hmm. You need this in your life. This is the perfect candle that can go in the kitchen, your bedroom, and the living room. Yeah. Like, this is not like... It's like fresh and clean. Yes, it's really fresh. Like you smell the lemon and the mint. Mm -hmm. And I never thought I would like anything with lemon and mint in it. Because I'm not that crazy about mint, mint. smells for like yeah. your house. Mm -hmm. 
but I really love this one for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's refreshing and it's also really relaxing. Relaxing. It's yes. like good for like a bath too. Mm -hmm. Like when you're taking a yes. bath. Yes. Uh huh. And it doesn't have like that peppermint kind of smell. If mm -hmm. you're thinking like mint, it just has like a nice like herbally mint smell. Yeah. Not the kind you eat. The actual like, leaf. Yeah, like the actual leaf. Like if you put like mint in your water or something, like to like refresh or like yeah, have that kind like, of flavor. It smells like that taste. Yeah, like that taste. Yeah. When you put like mint in your water or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the lemon, if you have, if you drink lemon water with mint in it, this is the candle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it smells really good. And I love like the really pretty aqua turquoise packaging. It's really, really pretty. So it looks nice like in your living room. It's not tacky or gaudy or anything too much. It just goes nicely in your living room. So love 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 this okay i have one last candle to mention and this is the brazilian blue water scented candle and it's the blue one and the packaging is so cute i really like it but this smells like fresh laundry with a little bit of a perfumey smell yeah it smells, it smells like laundry it smells so good it's like really fresh this is what us in these clean smells this month uh, you can't really go wrong with a clean smell because some fruit smells tend to you know smell a little funny go the wrong way yeah but this just smells like so fresh and I feel like you can put it in any room. Mm. It just smells so clean. So I really like this one too. So I recommend. And it has a tad bit of like a man smell Smell. Too. Maybe that's why I like, like it. Like if you like those cologne type scents, that kind of smells like in that, you know, It smells area. like a sexy clean man who just washes clothes. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Mm. That's a good description. That's what it smells like. Mm. So get your hands on Brazilian Blue Waters if you want to smell fresh linen and a sexy man. Uh -huh. And y'all know we're not lying when we say we like these candles because they burn all the way down to the ground. <laughs> like, seriously, we burn these out so fast. So yeah, we do. That's how much we love them because they're gone. Okay, so I have one more favorite to talk about, and it is a perfume. I don't think I've talked about a perfume in a while in any of our favorites videos. And I've been using this, I've been wearing this perfume for like almost two years now. Not this specific one, obviously. But um, the Versace Bright Crystal is, is one of me and Kelsey's favorite scents ever. Like, it's one of those unique scents that you always go back to. And recently, I think I got this um, in October at the Sephora VIB sale. Not the recent one, but the one before that. I bought this. Y'all, this is the more intense version of the original. This is the Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. Not absolute, like the look of. <laughs> absolute. It ends in a U. So, if you guys... Yes. I kept thinking you would say absolute. Not no T, just the U. A B S O L U. Absolute. And if you guys go on the website, at first I thought this was limited edition when I first got it, so that's why I just had to hurry up and buy it. But they still have it on the Sephora website and they have it in some Sephora stores that um they have Versace Bright Crystal at. So if you ever see this, don't get the small one, get the big one because you're gonna <laughs> be obsessed with it and like i said this is the more intense version of the original so it lasts like 10 times longer like when i tell y'all this lingers like every time i wear this i remember one day i wore it and kelsey was like i smell you every time like i walk <laughs> when i flip my hair she was like i keep smelling you i don't even smell myself no more yeah so this is good stuff like i feel like this is mine and kelsey's signature scent because we don't have a lot of the same perfumes yeah but we will wear, wear this together every single day for like a month. Yeah, probably. Like, so. that's how good it is. Yeah, so, I think we have done it before. Yeah, we've worn this. Like, we OD on this for real. Mm -hmm. But it's that good. It's like a really clean, but like still sexy scent. It has a tad bit of fruitiness in it. Because mm -hmm. I don't like... It's a little bit of floral, but it's not a bouquet of flowers floral. It's sexy floral. It has a tad bit of fruitiness to it. If y'all have not tried this yet, please get it. And the bottle is so pretty and glamorous and it's going to look it really pretty. pretty like on your vanity or wherever you put your perfumes and it's hot pink. So it's like that much more pretty than the original bottle, which is pretty too, but this liquid is clear and the bottle is hot pink. If y'all have not tried this, please get it and I'm going to get the big one when this is gone. Love it. Okay, so those are all of our favorites. We hope that most of you are still here, you know, mm -hmm. around with us. Yes. You know, this was another long one. Mm -hmm. But we know y'all like long videos because, you know, y'all ride us like that. Yes. But, um, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And our next video, I think, is going to be a Met call. I know mm -hmm. some people in the last vi video were like, where's the Met call? Don't worry, it's, it's coming. Because um, my stuff probably got dust on it by now <laughs> because I have not touched it. I don't so, even think she remember what she got. I don't. So it's going to be a surprise for everybody. Yes, like but, Christmas. Yeah. So that's probably going to be the next video that you guys will see from us. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.